days in the late 1960 as former prime minister Indira Gandhi had an unusual present delivered to her door it was a basket full of tiger cubs and turning up with this cuddly package was its sender the man who went on to become the voice of india's big cats kalash sankhala was then the director of the delhi zoological park and his bold gesture some might even call it outrageous struck a chord with gandhi who was herself a lover of nature and wildlife by then sankhala had already been making ripples in wildlife and government circles an officer with the indian forest service he had managed wildlife sanctuaries in rajasthan and had lobbied to ban the shooting of tigers in the state sankhala believed the little things in life matter as much as the big decisions did so during his stint at the delhi zoo from 1965 to 1970 he stopped animals from performing for the public and renovated the section where the tigers lived to make it mimic their natural habitat he also launched an investigation into the trade in tiger and leopard furs in markets across delhi the turning point came in the 1970s when sankhla conducted an all india tiger census and shocked the country with his results there were only 1827 tigers left in india's wilds compared to 40000 at the turn of the century hunting was the biggest killer a practice that went back to the colonial british and the maharajas of india's princely states poaching was another culprit it was thus a major victory when parliament enacted the wildlife protection act in 1972 finally the bloodletting could end that same year the world wildlife fund wwf initiated operation tiger and discussed conservation efforts with indira gandhi she needed no persuasion and on 1st april 1973 She launched India's most ambitious tiger conservation effort, Project Tiger. Sankhala, who is affectionately called India's Tiger Man, was its first director. Sankhala wasn't just the obvious choice, he was the best choice. He felt deeply for the big cats, a passion that surfaced after he had an epiphany in the 1950s. Back then, as a forest officer, Not only was he responsible for issuing hunting permits, he had also shot and killed a tiger near Sariska. The incident completely transformed him. Later, Sankhla would write in Tiger. The story of the Indian tiger, 1977, one of the many books he authored, even today, the scene is as fresh as it was that morning, and the open eyes of that tiger have haunted me all my life. To overcome my guilt, I have dedicated my life to the cause of tiger preservation. Sankhla helped Project Tiger until 1976, but he continued to root for India's majestic cats long after that. He continued his research and spoke up every chance he got against policies and efforts that he believed were counterproductive to the survival and well-being of India's wildlife. Sankhla often said he wanted to do nothing. and not let anybody do anything that is eliminate human activity from tiger habitat there is just one universal truth allow the tiger to be the king of the jungle if it is to survive